Hello and welcome everyone, I am Ducky O'Brien and today I'll be going over a game called Crowalt Traces of the Last Colony Prologue. This is the demo and it's out now on Steam if you want to check it out for free. Anyways, the demo was released on August 13, 2021 on to the PC. I don't have any information for the full release, but why don't we go over it? It's a point and click RPG. Just shut up and let the... I will shut up and let the cutscene play. Okay, so this guy is researching what happened to the Lost Colony. Okay, so it's got that, you know, traditional point and click RPG stuff where you can look at an item, you can interact with it, you can talk to people. Uh, you can look at your inventory. It's a nice, uh, kind of old school MS Paint type of look to it. So, there you go. The key is in the rock. Just drag and drop your item onto the thing, and I can look at it. So the awning is nailed. <laughs> you can combine the hammer and nails. I can. Alright, take the fresh fish fish sign. I can't talk right now. You know what? I say that a lot. I can't talk all the time. <laughs> What's talking? What is that? I don't know. Okay. Stay away, it says. So it says, you know, no wet shoes, right? So what if we put a new sign there? But the thing is, like, the owner's gonna know that, you know, if you have wet shoes, they don't want you in. Just because the sign outside says fresh fish. And anyways, it's like silly point and click RPG logic. I'm not gonna, I'm not saying it's bad or anything. I'm just saying it's kind of a, it's, it's a little silly lighthearted humor there. <laughs> anyways. Bonjour, madame. I found the dialect to be a little bit awkward, but, you know, it's okay. My name is Hugh. Humongous. Okay. I like how they put the key to the room, like here, and not with the barkeep, so that anyone can use it. <laughs> okay, there are artifacts with like lore and stuff. Uh, let's see. Okay. 
I forgot I had the lockpick. Come a little closer. See, Huanji about to heaven that even he was not expecting this much. The dialogue is a little bit, a little bit awkward. Okay. <laughs> it was Emperor Palpatine. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Join the dark side. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Execute order sixty nine. <laughs> All these people, oh my God. Has he not seen a cemetery before? I mean, what what, what do you do you think? Oh uh, shoot! Do I need to use? Uh, I forgot if I needed to use something on there or not. Um, what doesn't work right now? Why? Clean all the tombstones, right? Oh, there's one left here. Oh, yeah, that's kind of dumb. I thought I was going insane. So this part I thought was a little bit silly. I mean, you know what's coming. It's gonna be his own name. Hugh. Hugh. I was like, there could be plenty of Hughes out there. Hugh Jackman. Hugh Laurie. <laughs> Hugh Mungus. You know, do people only have one name? So this is supposed to be a shocking scene where it's like, oh no, he's gonna die. But it doesn't say how he died and when he died. So he could have died of old age. You know, how far are we into the future? So <laughs> I always say this. Oh my word, Virginia was just a nightmare. Okay, uh, I always say this where that sort of stuff too early doesn't have as much of an impact. It depends on the person. But like, that relies on you projecting your own experience and uh, your your own character, your, your own sense of individual onto the character in the game or a movie. You're like, oh no, me dying, that's gonna be terrible. I need to find out more, right? But in reality, like, we... Ha if you don't do that, then you rely on what the game gives you. And right now, I don't have an attachment to this character, the, the protagonist. So when I see that, I'm just like, oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> I guess he's going to die. <laughs> don't know how or when. And, you know, it kind of loses a little bit of impact. So, like, the, the game or movie has to develop the character to the point where the people playing or watching uh, develop an attachment. So when, when it's too early, you don't have that. Excellent writing knows how to introduce a character and then have you develop at least a weak attachment or like you like the character immediately. Uh, I've seen very few examples of this, but they, they do this very well. And then they, they have time to develop it because the sad truth is people are... They have a very short attention span nowadays, so... You know, this is a stat that I've heard. I don't know what it is now, but you know, someone can do the research and crunch the numbers. I guess I could do it. I guess I should. I am actually interested in this, but Steam has all this information out there for free. You can crawl through Steam analytics and figure out like play times. Anyways, the whole point is that a lot of people, uh, when they get a game, they either don't play it because you have a huge backlog, or if they do play it, they only play it for about 30 minutes, and if it doesn't grab them, they quit. It doesn't mean the game is bad, it's just that 
they play, they give the game 30 minutes of time, and I'm like, that's way too little time. Some games take hours before I, you're like, oh, this is pretty fun, you know? Anyways, <laughs> I'm just rambling. Okay, I'm just going through the text here. This part is basically a mini game section. Uh, what happens is she wants you to pay, and then she's like, "Here, you can do some jobs for me." Okay. This guy's like, Psst, "I can help you out, bro. I know what you're doing." And he's like, "Oh, this guy is sus, man. Look at him." He's wearing a pizza for a hat. Okay. So now she wants you to be a bartender while she goes to grab something and she doesn't have enough beer so you have to water it down. I'm gonna tell you, let me tell you, just put a full cup of beer for every person. What the heck? Can't do, there we go. How many mouse is like getting busted? Alright. It's worth the coins I've tossed. I could write a song in the name of this. Toss the coin to your witcher. Okay. Okay. doesn't even know my existence. Yet, I still miss the eyes deeply. Can you give me something to prevent me from remembering? Yes, here's some cocaine. <laughs> I, I, can, I can feel that though, you know. One side of love is like uh, pretty difficult. So basically you're watering it down for people who, uh, whatchamacallit, want more than one cup, and it works. I failed the first time. So what happens is if you put water in and they don't like it, you lose the beer that you use, so... I thought you could tweak it, but no, it just wants you to put a full cup in every every time, the first time. Give me something strong. Okay. Here's some vodka. I do not drink alcohol, by the way. I am not a drinker. And there's one time, though, my buddy of mine in college, way back then, it was his 18th birthday, I think, and his friends, or uh, his parents, mailed him a bottle of fancy meat and a chocolate cake. I don't know if they're rich or not, they must have been. But, like, I tasted it. It was the most delicious thing I've tasted in my entire life. It tasted like Capri Sun. It didn't taste like alcohol, and that was kind of dangerous. It's very sweet. I know meat is made by fermenting honey. And I was like, yo, this is actually kind of good. Piss I watered it down more. So if they want a second cup, you can put one part of water. If they want a third cup, you can put two. But yeah, I'm a pretty boring person in real life. I don't like partying. I don't like uh, breaking rules or anything. I'm a by the numbers, by by the rules type of guy. Scandal. Alright, we finished it. We got the 10 people done. 
even if you succeed, this is... It makes you fail. And I hate that, but anyways, I hate that in games. Like parts where you're scripted to fail. No, like my effort doesn't really mean anything. So this part I didn't like. So she left a box of something and then someone stole it. And now she's holding me responsible. And it's like, well, lady, you didn't tell me to do that. You know, like I, it's literally, I've never been a bartender before I'm new here. I was like, that is ridiculous. I want to sack her one, you know? <laughs> Be careful that you don't want to get on the bad side of me. I'm like, bro, do not threaten me in games. I'm the main, I'm the MC. I'm protected by plot armor. <laughs> I'm like, that's kind of ridiculous. Anyways. That's, uh, I don't respond well to uh, threats. If someone threatens me, I will go out of my way to make sure that I do not do what they want me to do. Okay, this, this game is funny. It's like DDR. It gets faster and faster. It just keeps going on until you hit your fingers. Oh, and then I hit my finger now. Yep. And my thing is scripted to make it fail. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> Whoops. I just want to fail this so I can move on. What a shame. Whatever. I did it five times without hitting myself. So. Okay, now you don't have any money, so you gotta go talk to this guy. You have no choice. Okay. Blah 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 blah. Okay, and that's it. That's that's the demo. It took me about thirty six minutes the first time. I could have done that a lot faster. Alright, there you have it. That was Crowalt Traces of the Last Colony Prologue. It's out now if you want to try out the demo for free on Steam. If you like the game, I would encourage you to wishlist it because that helps the game out. Basically, for the new and trending or new and upcoming list, it's based on how many people wishlist it. So it pushes it up and uh, it will show people that that list and I'm like, oh, there's this game on here because people wishlisted it, so it must be popular. Um, it's all about discoverability. Anyways, I want to call it there. Thank you so much for dropping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. If you got any questions, comments, things you'd like to see or for me to cover, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll definitely try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Gotta remind everyone, I'm just a one-person operation, all right? It's, uh, lately I've been overworking myself, I think. I'm trying out a lot of things, and I'm stretching myself very thin. Um, yeah, I feel myself burning out. <laughs> like the life in me is flickering out and just turning into a robot. Anyways, uh, 
yeah, hopefully it gave you guys an idea what the game is like, and hopefully you enjoyed what you saw. I'm just gonna call it there. As always, hope you guys are staying safe and seeing out there. I think I'm going a little bit crazy. <laughs> and I'll catch you guys next time.